Let's talk about metformin, something that I found very interesting myself. What's your opinion on it? Do you recommend it for bodybuilding, men on TRT, and or for longevity? And at what doses is that? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Well, I'm glad you asked me that question, Stephen. Um, so where do I come from here with this metformin issue? Well, I want your, your, your viewers to, to make a note here. There's three physicians that I look up to that really educate me a lot with metformin. One is Dr. Jeffrey Dosh, D-A-C-H, and he's written books on it, not just books, but in his books, he recommends metformin. He has a nice article here that you can download on metformin required as a requirement or it's been repurposed for anti-cancer. So he touts its significance for fighting cancer. All right. So you can Google search Jeffrey Dosh, D-A-C-H-M-D, and metformin, and you will find he is a firm, firm, firm believer in the anti-neoplastic properties of metformin uh, for all use. Now, there's another person that I trained a long time ago with, and we were stationed together in the Navy. His name is Dr. Ward Dean, D-E-A-N-M-D. -E -E. I met Ward Dean back in 1993 in Pensacola. Oh, Ward Dean is a unique, great eccentric individual, very knowledgeable. Um, he, he came out with a YouTube, well, okay, he was at the AMMG Age Management Medicine Group Conference in Vegas, February of 2017. And you can Google search Ward Dean, MD, AMMG Conference, Vegas, 2017. He did a really good YouTube uh, uh, interview with a uh, an interviewer from the AMMG. And on that, you can learn, you meaning all our viewers, uh, about what he feels about uh, metformin. And let me summarize how he, what he feels about metformin. Ward Dean wrote two books in the 90s. Uh, his first book was uh, Smart Drugs One. Second book was Smart Drugs Two. Smart drugs meaning no otrop, no otrop, you know, vitamins and minerals and herbs and supplements that you can in increase your brain function. You think on that. You can book some. He, um, in that video, you'll, you can find very informative. He is so big on magnesium, I'm sorry, metformin. Um, and he tells you why. And I'll just get away from board Dean and come back to him. There's a, PhD named Dr. David Sinclair. He's the re one of the most knowledgeable PhD researcher in, in uh, uh, anti-aging uh, and sirtuins and resveratrol. But he, in one of his videos, he was touting the anti-aging uh, properties of metformin and he takes 1000 milligrams at night before he goes to bed. Now, that's David Sinclair, the PhD that researches anti-aging and in particular sirtuins and mTOR, how they relate. Now, back to Ward Dean. Ward believes that everybody should start on about 500 milligrams at least twice a day. Ward currently does, well, when I, two years ago, three years ago, he was doing 500 milligrams three times a day, uh, but now he's doing 1,000 milligrams twice. So Ward recommends everybody start on 500 milligrams at three times a day. Now, what is the number one side effect of um, metformin? Um, diarrhea. About 20% of people can't tolerate. 
And I'm one of those. <laughs> I'll get serious diarrhea. Uh, so to get around that, both Dr. Sinclair and Wardeen recommend smaller doses of metformin to build a tolerance if you can to take it at night. Start there. There is an extended release metformin that's supposed to be easier on the gut for those people who have a proclivity having their intestinal floor fall out. So we have metformin, metformin extended release for those who can't tolerate it. Um, so we have a PhD researcher, the number one guy for anti-aging, David Sinclair. You have Dr. Jeffrey Dosh, a real good friend of mine who's written extensively about the benefits of men. And Ward Dean, who's been around forever. And he, he's gave, he gave a great talk. Just Google search it. You'll find it. It's very, very important. Now, there's a lot of people who think that, oh, but does that metformin cause uh, lactic acidosis? No. That's old research from Fenformin. Fen, P-H-E-N. Fenformin came up before metformin, and that did cause some lactic acid. But metformin doesn't have that track record that Fenformin does. Although you do have to be careful when there are people who have poor kidney function. You have to be careful with them. But I truly think that the benefits greatly outweigh the risks for metformin. Now, there was an article that came out not too long ago, I think we discussed it on your podcast, regarding metformin use in older men, and it may interfere with some muscle accretion. You know what I'm talking about? You remember that? Came up, oh, maybe older men shouldn't take that. Now, I found that study. That study came out about three years ago, and the dose, of metformin they were using was 1,700 milligrams a day. I don't know where they got that dose from. That's what the dose they used, 1,700 milligrams per day. Well, you gotta weigh the risks and benefits, you know? I mean, if metformin is such a great medicinal for anti-aging and brain function and resetting uh, uh, insulin resistance. And matter of fact, Dr. Dean, in his opinion, it resets sensitivities, not to just insulin, but every hormone. So therefore you have a possibility of some men who, who get maybe a tolerance to testosterone because they're on it forever. Going to Ward Dean, you can reset uh, a person's sensitivity to testosterone by putting them on metformin. So, if I'm an older guy and I'm in the gym and I'm trying to train hard and you know gain, make some gains, there are some studies that's great at 1,700 milligrams a day or more. You may interfere with some a muscle accretion, but I firmly believe, from my own experiences, that if a man is on testosterone therapy and does, you know, and trains right and his testosterone's dialed in i still think that the benefits of muscle accretion are going to be there and given the other multitude of benefits mm -hmm. uh i would err on the side of i'd rather live oh i don't know just pull this out of my I, let's say i'd rather live longer 10 15 years longer with maybe a modicum less of muscle accretion than die early do to cancer in particular, uh, because I was worried about I wasn't going to get that last few percent gains in the gym due to my efforts. So you got to read, you got to read up on it. I gave us some great sources: Dr. David Sinclair, PhD, Dr. Jeffrey Dosh, DACH, MD, and Dr. Ward Dean, MD. Research these people, and you'll find you make your own decision. But I'm pro metformin. So 
given my the fact that I have this bowel disturbance, uh, I take it in the evening. I only take it in the evening. And right now I'm only taking 500 milligrams a day until I get, you know, and then I'll bounce that up to 750, and then hopefully eventually I'll maybe I'll get to 2,000 milligrams a day in one dose mm-hmm. at night tank. That's what David Sinclair does, and this guy's the anti-aging guru. In Belgium, we have 850 milligram tablets. I take two of them daily, morning and evening. So that's your 1700 there. Oh, well, that's maybe where it came from. I don't know. You had I, here in the States, we have usually it's 500 milligrams. But I will say one thing when Warren Dean mentioned this in Florida, here where I reside, if you recommend or write a prescription for a patient, they can get that metformin filled in the pharmacy for free. So if you can write metformin and they can tolerate it, I recommend that. If the patient can't recommend it and you have to rec- you have to write metformin extended release, then they have to pay out of pocket. They're gonna they're gonna pay for that because the pharmacies won't fill extended release, only the regular metformin. But I think it's a miracle drug. In fact, Jeffrey Dosh told me that if you could put diet, meaning nutrition and exercise in pill form, that pill would be met form. Mm-hmm. Completely agree. Simple as that. Thanks. Now do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.